Hey guys, Gator here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change the crosshair on any texture pack in 1.8.9. So, um, in my recent videos, I've been using the texture pack that I am right now, uh, the Wolf 3K pack. So, this is the Wolf 3K pack. Everything's the same, except for the crosshair. Crosshair is the only thing different. So, um, how did I do this? So, basically, if you didn't know, um, the default crosshair for this pack, when it's downloaded, uh, looks like this. It has this, you know, little circle with a couple lines coming out of it. When I downloaded this, I didn't really like the style of the crosshair. Others might, but it's just not my thing. I didn't really like that crosshair. My favorite crosshair is the uh, crosshair from Time Dia's 2K pack. Um, so it looks something like um, something like this. So that's what it looks like. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll be teaching you guys how to change the crosshair. Um, hopefully this like opens up like a lot of other packs for some people because I know I pass I used to pass up on a lot of different texture packs just because I didn't like the crosshair of it. And I know there's a crosshair mod, but it doesn't like usually like you know it doesn't make the same crosshair. You know it just doesn't. It's not as customizable. You know it just doesn't have the same amount of you know customization as. Uh, you know, as just changing your crosshair in the texture pack itself does. So before you get started on editing the texture pack you want, uh, make sure you have it disengaged. So like if I'm editing this texture pack, you want to take it off um, and just, you can switch to a different texture pack, but make sure you're not editing it while you're in Minecraft with the texture pack applied or it will crash Minecraft. Next, you're actually going to get to your resource pack folder. So most people know this, but uh, if you go to options, resource packs, and you press this, it'll open up your resource pack folder and that way you can actually start editing the packs. All right, so now that you're here, you'll probably see, um, if you don't use any texture packs or you don't use that many, you'll probably only have a few, but as you can see, I have many, 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 many. So um, it doesn't matter how long it is, how long the list is, It's it doesn't matter. But um, as you'll see, most of your texture packs are probably going to be in a .zip uh, format, which means the suffix is going to be in a .zip. Some of them will be in a .rar. Um, Minecraft accepts those as well. Uh, Minecraft accepts RARs, zips, and, and file folders, as you can see here. Um, they might accept others, but those ones I know they accept, Minecraft accepts. So what we're going to be doing, if you want to change the crosshair, is we're basically going to be making a copy of this zip file, changing it to a folder, and then editing the files inside of the folder. So let's try to find one that we want to edit. Green default zip. Let's, let's just do that one. So I have WinRAR, which is a file extraction service. If you don't have WinRAR, there's a website that I'll leave in the description where like you can use like the default um, Windows extraction tool to extract the file. Um, you don't need WinRAR, but if you do um, have it, then it you know it'll probably just make it easier. But um, in the description, if you don't have WinRAR, it'll explain how you can extract the um, how you can extract a .zip file in the description. So if you have one more, you're going to click extract files. I think for Windows, it's like extract all or something um, like that. And it'll just go ahead and start extracting it. Now that it's extracted, you can actually go into the pack. So you're going to go into the pack. And what you're going to do is you're going to click assets. Now, something that sometimes happens is if you go into here and you see like a duplicate of the folder that's out here. So like, let's say, let's see, let's make a new folder. Because sometimes this will happen. I don't know why, but it does. So I gotta like tell you guys what to do if that does happen. So oh, let me move you into here. Okay, there you go. So let's say this happens, right? You go into green default, and there's another one, right? And then it has this. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have want to move this to resource packs. It'll just move it. There you go. So now you're going to go into assets to find to change the crosshair. You're gonna go into assets, Minecraft, textures and GUI. I'm going to find a file called icons.png. That's what you want to, this is what's going to, this is how you're going to edit the crosshair. So basically what you're going to want to do is if you find another texture pack that you want the crosshair to be changed to. So like, let's say, um, so basically let's say, okay. So for instance, I found the crosshair in this, this is the, um, this is the GUI, the icons.png file that I copied from this texture pack over to Wolf's 3K pack. So basically what I did is I went into here, assets, Minecraft, uh, textures, GUI, it'll all be the same. I just go into icons.png and you just copy it. Now you're going to have to probably, um, you're going to have to unzip another 
texture pack so that way you can actually go into the file to copy it. Um, but once you've done that, you can go back into your, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, you can actually go back into your texture pack, go to GUI, icons, and you're going to delete the old one. And you're going to copy it back. So um, there you go. So now the icon has changed. Okay, so just to prove that like it actually worked, as you can see, the green default is looking great. It has the correct crosshair. Um, everything's everything's going great. The rest of the texture pack is unchanged. Swords are still the same, as you can see. Same thing. So I'll I'll go ahead and change to the uh, old texture pack, so you can see the difference. Um, as you can see, this is the old crosshair, and it changed the crosshair and some other the hearts though too. So if you don't want the hearts to be changed at all, you're going to have to do a little bit more work, but again, it'll be worth it if you don't want the rest of the GUI to be changed at all. So there's this great program called Piskel, and you can use it to um, edit like really small files, you know, something that's like under like a thousand by a thousand pixels. So this is perfect for our icons.png file. It's free and you can just do it online. You don't need to create an account or anything. So all you have to do is you have to go to your file. Uh, you have to go to your folder, your file folder, and you're going to go over, go into whatever thing you want to uh, edit. So we're going to go into here, go through the same thing, GUI, and you're going to find the icons.png file, and you can copy this wherever. So basically now you're just going to create a sprite in Piskel. You're going to go to import, uh, browse images, you're going to open it up, and you're just going to um, accept all defaults. Here you go. This is all right. Just click OK. You have um, the entire the entire thing for um, the the icons.png file. So you can use this to like change the crosshairs in the upper right hand corner. So I'm just going to change it to something silly. And here you can change it to whatever you want to. So I'm just going to change it to something you know kind of silly. But um, I'll just make it something like you know dumb. But you know. I'll just say, boom, look at that. That is an excellent high. Okay, so once you're done with the crosshair that you want, you're just going to go over to export um, and selected frame export. You're going to download it. Now that you're in resource packs, you're going to go over to here, same thing, same directory, GUI, and you're going to delete the icons.png again, and then paste in the, the new one that you just edited. Uh, rename it icons.png. All right, so now that we're in here, um, just I'm just gonna hold, go ahead and refresh this real quick, um, just so that way it'll 100% see that there's no, there's a slight difference here. See, this one says .zip. That's how you know which one is the folder and which one is the zip. What this is the edited one. This is not the edited one. So we're just gonna go ahead and click this one, and this should work. And as you can see, it says hi for the crosshair. Obviously, if you um, want your crosshair to be this, sure, you can make it that if you want. But um, yeah, this is how you can change your crosshair to pretty much anything you want uh, in Minecraft for any 1.8.9 texture pack. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, uh, I guess leave a like. That would be cool. And, you know, I, I would appreciate it. Also, thank you guys for 30K. That's kind of crazy. Uh, in the process of uh, trying to get YouTube rank right now. So that's kind of insane. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. The support in the past couple of months has been insane considering I just hit 1k like three or four months ago or something. Um, kind of kind of crazy, man. Kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.